Some parents choose to deliver underwater. During these water births, why don't babies aspirate the water, including the amniotic fluid? Moreover, when they go for a swim, why don't they choke and sputter when they're in that water? Let's take a look. The thing that you can thank for this is the diving reflex. What is that? It's actually something we're all born with, and it's what prevents babies from inhaling water after being submerged. As soon as water hits the glottis, that's the airway where your vocal cords are. The vocal cords slam shut. What also happens then? Would you believe your heart rate as a baby drops by about 20% and with the airway shut, any water that entered the mouth is actually swallowed. Of course, you do eventually need to breathe, but brief submersions of babies underwater will be tolerated as long as they eventually get that air. To think we are born with this protective mechanism, the body is truly amazing.